like the video right now if you don't want this ugly, dirty, bummy crackhead off the corner to be with your sister. Like the video right now. I would not risk you. Hey yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Crack Man Steven. And look, I never will ever do this again. But I might do it again. I don't know. But look, Duke Dennis said he needed a two-way stretch playmaker build. Now look, I am the only YouTuber to actually create it or call it a two-way stretch playmaker. Now look, the the, 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 the position you want to go with is power for a right hand. That crap don't matter. The jersey number or whatever. Y'all want to pick. Uh, now look. This is where the bill get glitchy. Now I'm telling y'all, it will be a two-way stretch playmaker. I'm telling you. It's not it's not a two-way stretch playmaker, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. It'll have the stats of it basically. Now, y'all don't want to go the half playmaker, half shooting. Y'all want to go the shooting and defending pod chart. Now, I know that's kind of confusing. Two-way stretch playmaker. But look, bro, the, the way I'm going to make it, bro, it's going to basically have everything a stretch playmaker has. But the defense is better and the shooting is basically the same. So look, what y'all want to do is on this build, bro. Y'all want to max out your playmaker, obviously. Now, now, like 10 playmaking badges, bro. Like what? That's that's not a lot. But look, bro, you still get playmaking takeover on this build. dog. It's going to be OP when you start using it, bro. And the ball handle is a is it's really low right now, but I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry about it. And the speed and the acceleration is low, but I'm promise y'all I'm gonna fix that. Like that's how this that's how stuff is. Shooting, you, shooting, defending. Y'all wanna max out everything on shooting, max out everything on defending, bro. So basically, you are now a two-way stretch playmaker. And for the last seven attributes remaining, just put it on driving dump. You don't need it on nothing else. So now you're basically a two-way stretch playmaker. You have 18 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 20 defensive badges on this build. That's broken. Now, body shape and stuff, that, that doesn't matter. That that's all up to y'all. But height, I know that I know I know six foot eight is Duke Dennis stretch playmaker build, but the way you want to make this build, bro, I'm sorry, but you have to drop the height down to six foot seven. Like, if you don't drop the height down to 6'7", the build is going to be incomplete. Now, you do get a 67 ball handle, but I'm going to boost that up a little bit more. And you have a 82 speed. And, like, bro, the shooting, everything is good on this build. Like, it's already broken. Now, for weight, if you're trying to play center on this position, I mean, on this build, that's up to y'all. Y'all can, y'all can get a 70 strength on this build, but y'all don't need that. Just drop your weight all the way down to 180. You have an 82 speed and 82 acceleration plus four since Duke is like like Elite or something. And at Superstar 2, you get plus four or if you just go to the gym. Then when you hit 99.9, .9, bro, you get another five plus. So that's like a 91 speed and acceleration on this build. So you're already goaded. Then you want to drop your wingspan all the way down to the lowest. So you basically are one off of pro dribble moves you are one off of pro dribble moves on this build bro. your shooting is great your defense is bro your defense is destroying any other build not any other build but y'all know what i'm trying to say everything on this build is good bro but so i know i know 10 playmaking badges is not enough for anybody but still it's goaded bro your ball handle is good you have good shooting your defense is goaded your speed's good, bro. Everything on this build is good. So you're basically a two-way stretch playmaker. And then, like I told y'all, bro, you have playmaking takeover on this build. Y'all can go with sharp takeover if y'all really want sharp takeover. I don't know why you would go with sharp takeover, though. Because you want to drop people. You want to put them people on the ground. Obviously, if Duke watches this video, he's going to go with playmaking takeover. So... If y'all want to make this build and grind it and make content with this build, it's basically a two-way stretch playmaker, but it's not. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Bro, you have playmaking takeover, bro. You will be dropping kids. You putting everyone in the ground. Even without the ankle breaker badge, bro, you will still get ankle breakers. Playmaking takeover, they fixed it, bro. They fixed it, bro. Like, you will still be able to drop kids, like, left and right. I'm telling you. Like, 
You could be a seven foot stretch with playmaking takeover and still drop people. And look what you get, a stretch glass cleaner. Now look, I know it doesn't say two way stretch playmaker, but it's the closest you can get. It's a stretch glass, but it can speed boost basically once you hit like 96 overall, cause it has pro dribble moves at 96. So I mean like, it's not that bad. Like it's, it's glitchy bro, I'm telling y'all. Then obviously y'all wanna test this build at 99. Even though we're not testing this build at 99, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. But look, the way I'm going to set these badges up, I know you only get 10 playmaking badges. I know that's crazy. But if you're a legend on this build, I'm telling you it was broken. Then for finishing, bro, just put on consistent finisher. That's that's whatever. Then playmaking, you only get quick first step and unpluggable. Like, that's the only good guard badges you really get. I know that's crazy because you need, like, at least space creator or tight handles or or ankle breaker one of those badges to be goaded but it's still bro it's, it's still game breaking once you get your takeover bro like it's still it still does everything the other builds can do but it's it's basically like it's like yeah y'all you know like two-way three level or two-way scoring machines it's basically like that but it's not it's it's a power for it so 2k just does that weird stuff and takes away badges to build that don't have like certain y'all know what i'm trying to say but look y'all can set up your badges however y'all want i will always run quick first step goal and uh, unpluggable goal on this type of build because that's the only real guard badges on playmaking y'all can get but that goal quick first step is gonna come in clutch for shooting to make this build even more overpowered bro y'all can put on hall of fame quick draw i think duke runs hall of fame quick draw or gold something like that but that's up to y'all. Y'all can run whatever quick draw level y'all want. Then put Hall of Fame Ranger Stinner. Y'all can do Hall of Fame Hazel Hunter. And y'all can do uh, Hall of Fame Green Machine if, if y'all want to. Or y'all can put on um, Gold Quick Draw and Gold Dead Eye. Just like this. You still will be able to ISO. I'm telling y'all. Like, you will still be able to ISO on this build. All you need to do is grind it and hit 96 overall. Now, if you're not a fan of Green Machine, if you're, if you're not a fan of Green Machine, bro, you could, you could, like, take it off and put on, like, corner specialist and catch and shoot or something like that. Now, I know you don't get difficult shot, but, like, it's still broken. I'm telling y'all, it's still broken. Even though y'all don't get difficult shot, that's weird because this is a uh, shooting build. But I know bigs, this is considered a big build, but I don't know why you can't get difficult shot. That's really dumb. Or y'all can just set y'all badges up like this. That's up to y'all. Because 99% of the time, if you're running this build, you probably won't have a meter on, so... Just 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 make your build exactly like this. It's broken, I'm telling y'all. The build is still good, but this ain't even the main reason why this build is broken, bro. Like you have Hall of Fame defense badges too, and you'll have 70 ball handle at 96 overall. So therefore you're broken, bro. Like the build is glitchy, bro. The build is glitchy, I'm telling y'all y'all. Like, I don't know how to stretch it enough. Like, if you're not making this build after this video, I don't know what you're doing. All you have to do is grind a 96. I'm telling y'all. Now, for the defensive badges, this is where the build breaks the game, bro. You have 20 defensive badges on basically a guard, a stretch, whatever y'all want to call it, bro. You're going to be running this build on guard position. All you want to do is put on Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Pick Dodger. That's the main three badges you'll need on this build. Now, y'all can put on... Hall of Fame Rim Protector if y'all want. But you don't really need, you won't necessarily need Rebound Chaser because if you're like Duke, you're probably always going to be running with the center anyway. And then you could just put the last uh, four on Pickpocket and uh, Interceptor. That's up to y'all. It is good like that. Or y'all can drop your um, Rim Protector down to Silver and put on Chase Down Riders just so you can get some more blocks on this build because you do have a high block rating and... You are broken. Like, you are breaking the game, bro. Like, it's broken. So, if you copy my exact way I put these badges. Now, playmaking badges, y'all can set it up however y'all want. But, quick first step and unpluggable is the only type of badges you'll probably need on this build. But, yeah. Like I said, 
this build was made only just because Duke Dennis needed a new build or he wanted one, but this is something like a two-way stretch playmaker. So if y'all haven't already, go follow us down in the links below. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. We'll probably be posting on there like daily. Probably, I don't know. But yeah, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And that's it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'm out. Peace.